What's the difference between a grant and a loan? A grant does not have to be repaid and all loans must be repaid. With repayment beginning either six months after you graduate from college or after you drop below six units. Is financial aid a handout? No. Financial aid is a resource available to help students with limited income that would not otherwise be able to pay for their education. How complicated is the form? The form is not complicated. The average time to complete the form is between 15 to 30 minutes if you have your income information available. Can I still get financial aid at the university after I receive it at a community college? Yes, as long as you are working toward an educational goal with an educational plan. Should I save my financial aid eligibility? No, you will just be giving up money you currently qualify for. Do I have to be a full-time student in order to qualify for financial aid? No, but a student enrolled in 12 units or more will receive the full amount of an award. Students enrolled between 9 and 11.5 units will receive three-fourths of an award. Students with between 6 and 8.5 units will receive half of the award, and students enrolled in less than 6 units will receive less than half of an award. Can I receive extra aid money for attending summer school? Students that attend summer school and have received their award for the upcoming school year can receive federal work study. If a student did not receive the full amount of their Pell Grant payment during the academic year, they can receive the difference if they attend summer school. If I have financial aid, what happens if I drop a class or receive a non-passing grade? If a student is paid for 12 units and completed only 9 units, they will have a 3 unit deficiency which they must repay or they will be considered overpaid and will be disqualified from receiving financial aid. If a non-passing grade is received and the overall GPA for the semester is below 2.0, the student will be placed on probation but will still receive financial aid. How much money can I qualify for? The amount of funds awarded will be based on the expected family contribution. This is determined from the family income and other asset and expenses. If I apply for financial aid, how long will it take to receive a decision? The average process time from the day an application is submitted to the financial aid office until the student is paid is between four to six weeks. That's assuming all the required documents are turned in at the time of intake. Who is eligible for financial aid? A student that is a U.S. citizen or has legal naturalization documents with a high school diploma or equivalent and is 18 years of age. Can my current job affect my financial aid award? Yes. 
the income that you receive from your job is considered when determining the amount of aid you qualify for. Am I too old to receive financial aid? No, there is no upper age limit. Is my parents' tax information reported to the IRS? No. All financial aid documents submitted to the financial aid office remain in the financial aid office and are used for financial aid purposes only. I'm a homeowner. Does this automatically disqualify me from financial aid? No. Financial need is based on family income. When and where can I fill out an application? ELAC students can obtain the financial aid application from many locations on campus, such as the financial aid office. Financial Aid Express, Admissions Office, Library, Fiscal Office, and EOPS Office. Financial Aid applications can be completed online or at the Financial Aid Workshops. I'm interested in applying for financial aid. What should I do now? Attend a financial aid workshop, ask instructors about a contact person in the department, go to the financial aid office, see a counselor, visit the EOPS office, or view an online financial aid tutorial and apply online. When are the deadlines for applying for financial aid? The deadline to apply for financial aid and verification of GPA for Cal Grants is March 2nd. This deadline is critical. Once I submit my application, what should I expect? You should receive a welcome letter within two weeks of submission of your application. Within six weeks, you should receive a notice regarding your status. It's important to follow up on your application if nothing has been received. I submitted my application but received a pending letter. What does this mean? The processing of your application has stopped. This is due to various reasons. It can be as simple as you forgetting to sign your application to verification of documents. The application process continues once you respond. I submitted my application but received a disqualification notice. Does this mean there is no possibility of receiving financial aid? No. Almost all students that are disqualified can receive aid after completing an appeal form. I earned a certificate at ELAC while receiving financial aid. Does this disqualify me from further financial aid? since I'm interested in continuing my education? No. A student must see a counselor to work on an educational plan. Once this is done, the educational plan must be submitted to the financial aid office to continue eligibility. The door isn't closed. There's a lot of people who don't have the money to go to college and they don't know that there's actually financial help. 
financial aid is um, free money that the government gives you so you don't have to pay it back and that will cover your tuition. Financial aid helped me and my parents. It helped my parents because they didn't have to pay at all for anything. I don't pay for anything. I don't pay for my books nor my classes. In order for the student to get financial aid, the student needs to fill out the FAFSA, which is the free application for student aid. It might sound difficult, but it's not. It's just the first thing you have to do is just fill out the FAFSA. There is not a lot of paperwork, and if you ever have any trouble, you can go to the financial aid office and they will be gladly to help you out fill out the application. It's the first step towards your future. You know, um, now I'm attending UCLA, so if I did it, you know, with the help of financial aid, anybody else could do it.